Guys, Mon Dude here. In today's video, I'm gonna be improving my mobility scooter motor swapped power wheels. So you can see there's the motor. However, there's one very bad flaw with this. You can see this plastic has a stress mark in it. And if I stand on it, it actually doesn't look like it's moving. But if there's torque on the motor, which I can show you by locking it, then when I try to move it, you'll see the whole mo motor is moving a great amount. And that is not good. I tried to fix it by wedging these pipes in here. Uh, that, that didn't work. Alright, so I'm looking to replace this piece right here with a piece of metal. However, I can't do that because of this. Now, it seems like it's for some kind of support. But if I replace this with steel, it shouldn't need it anymore. So the first thing I have to do is take these off. I won't be needing these anymore. Okay, so I'm going to have to take the tire off. Luckily, it's easy. Just loosen this nut. Which is already loose. Wow, check that out. Molten plastic. Sweet. Alright, so now I'm just gonna smooth this down. And we'll be ready to put the metal on. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job of flattening this. So, I'm pretty much ready. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a crack. Anyways, um... So, I figured now would be a good time to show how this works. Since the wheel's off. Also, I'm not going to be doing the same to this side. Because this side has a full strip of plastic, not just this little thing. So I think this side's okay. Anyways, so this pipe, I turned down on the lathe to fit over this mobility scooter transaxle. And then this just slides on it and my dad welded it. And then a seat post for a bike fitting this tractor wheel really good. My dad also welded that on. And this seat pole also fits my tire. I mean, uh, pipe really good, so just slides on. And then you slip the pin through this hole and, um, this hole. But, <laughs> Okay, I have the piece cut. Then, 
I slap on that electrical tape. Now, the bar should be held in place. So now, let's flip it back over. Get out of here, tripod. Oh no, my bucket. I forgot there's no wheel on it. Okay, cool, it holds itself. Then, I mark where the holes need to be with nail polish. It's not really working. Yeah, that didn't, e that didn't even get on the metal. Come on. Okay, I think I got it. Alright, it finally cooled off outside. But anyways, it's time. Alright. And those are where I need to drill. Now, I've got this drilled, so it's time to see if it fits. Okay, it doesn't really fit this way, but there, actually it kind of fits this way, but there's two ways it can go on. So let's see. Well, it fits this way. Well, no. It's kind of hard to tell if it would work. It might. But, uh, actually, you know what? I don't think this is the right way because of how much is sticking past. So I think, I think that tells us this is the way it goes. So, might have to file it down a little, but that's not a big deal. Okay, now I can reinstall the motor mount. So, I will try and slide this over. It's all greasy. really hard to move. Okay, that might work. Then, okay, I got it on. Now, I can see if my holes look fine, so. Pull that through. Okay. To the wrong way. Um. It's really close, but I don't think we're there. I'm gonna go file this real quick. Okay. This should do the trick.
I filed it the wrong way. It'll still work though. Hmm. Oh. There we go. This uh this nut up here definitely needs loosened though. There we go. And that should work. It's a little offset. But oh well. I'm gonna try and put this piece of an inner tube in between the mount and the transaxle just to act as like a motor mount. that one's in, and then this one just goes right here, all right, now, just tighten it down. Hey, Furman! Solid. All right. It's the wrong way. Now I just put the pin through. There's our newly mounted motor. You can still move it, but uh, hopefully not much. If I put weight on it. Um, you 
seems pretty solid to me. I'm like bouncing. That didn't sound good. Alright. Now the only thing I am worried about is as the motor torques, it could try to lift one side of the metal off. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. Okay, so I was planning on pumping up the tires and going for a ride, but someone has stolen my foot pump. So, for now, I think I'm just going to leave the tires a little bit low and try to drive it. But, um, I'm having troubles with the foot switch. You can probably tell why. Um, let's see. There are the contacts. They don't really focus. But I'm going to go clean it with some sandpaper real quick. Okay, so I fixed the switch. I just got 12 volts in there. <laughs> 